Good morning. Today I'm going to talk about this portrait. Uh, yeah, Hilman Curtis. Um, recently I posted uh, a close-up of his eye, of one of his eyes, and I asked what do you see when you look into this eye? And I got various answers. Some really good ones, some uh, really their own perception, which is all alright because it's what they see. And one of the people who wrote me was spot on. She said knowledgeable, sad and uh, th thoughtful. And she said, and I said that's spot on and she asked me why. So privately I messaged her and told her the story behind the portrait. And she said, but this is something you should tell because that's interesting and it's really emotional and powerful. And so I decided to do the story behind this portrait. And maybe some of you already know because it is, has been several years. But I started this portrait in 2012. I asked Hillman if he agreed when I did this. And he said, yes, of course. And uh, simultaneously he asked me if I wanted to help him find a location and a nice place for his wife and him to be together for a while after a design conference he went to. So I did. So we were in contact. I me we messaged um, each other and um, we agreed, he agreed that after the conference we would uh, get in touch and talk, have a, have a nice conversation. And I was about to show him where I was in the portrait, because that's always a process, as you know. So I was really excited, because Hilman Curtis was one of the most, the leading designers at the time, and he, he changed the whole design landscape with his flash films. Flash short films. He used Flash as a film. Flash is dead. It doesn't exist even anymore. I, th I don't think uh, Adobe uses it anymore. But he did this and he went from that into film making. His heart was there. And so after the design conference we would talk. But I was looking at the website and um, at the times behind the speakers when they would speak and blah 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 so I knew when to come um, and he suddenly wasn't on there anymore and I was like how is this possible so I messaged him I wrote him a mail and he wrote me back and he said yeah Karen I can't I'm too weak I can't manage the, the, the long distance from New York to Amsterdam because at the time I lived in Amsterdam. And he said, because I'm terminally ill. And it was as if everything stopped. There was a shiver going through my whole body. Anyway, I, I went on with the portrait and um, I painted it. I finished the painting and the last brush stroke was at the time, the moment that he passed. It's really powerful, ridiculous, emotional. I don't know what terms to give to it, but the moment I finished this portrait was the moment that he passed. At least it was the moment that we heard from social media that Hilman Curtis wasn't here anymore. I shared the portrait and I got a lot of responses. Um, and I was really, I was emotional because it was, uh, you know, I, I had, I was on the brink of meeting some of my heroes of that time and I couldn't. So why was the comment of my, f my friend on Instagram so spot on? Because he was very thoughtful. He was a very soft spoken person also. Um, he was sad. I mean, he was on the brink of passing and he knew he couldn't live that long anymore. Which must be terrifying and horrible and very sad if you know you have to leave your, the wife you love and your kids that you adore. He was knowledgeable, very knowledgeable and 
in this portrait he was he was interviewed so he is thinking about the answer he's going to give and there we go to another aspect of this portrait in the close-up of the eye someone mentioned I always paint a light in the eye because it makes it alive and you didn't no I didn't and I have more portraits where I don't but I do this with a reason I didn't forget I do it with a reason because I felt that he was thinking he was inside and not outside and it also depicts this sadness within him and so painting eyes and always making the lights in it is not necessary so if you want to know more about how I paint portraits and why and also um, what, it, what you need to capture not only a likeness but also go deeper into a portrait go beyond the knowledge of the anatomy and of how a portrait is made to make it a story because every portrait is a story in itself but you depict the story of the person if you really want to know then I ask you click on the link below and join my community and there you will get way more stories the newest art and the best offers you can get only for my community and you will get knowledge about how I do what I do and why I do what I do um, in the meantime also think about what it is you feel when you look at this portrait and for those interested those who maybe who knew Hilman Curtis or interested in portraits at all this is for sale so give me a DM if you're interested and yeah I talk to you soon and in the next weeks we talk about the stories behind the portraits why because that was a question so you want to know more and you want to know why they look the way they look why they smile why they why I have painted them the way they have the way they are and I will tell you so more to come about this I wish you all a very lovely day and see you soon. Bye.